In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honour you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. A reading from the first book of the Kings. As David's life drew to its close, he laid this charge on his son Solomon. I am going the way of all the earth. Be strong and show yourself a man. Observe the injunctions of the Lord your God, following his ways and keeping his laws, his commandments, his customs, and his decrees, as it stands written in the law of Moses, that so you may be successful in all you do and undertake so that the Lord may fulfill the promise he made me. If your sons are careful how they behave and walk loyally before me with all their heart and soul, you shall never lack for a man on the throne of Israel. So David slept with his ancestors and was buried in the citadel of David. David's reign over Israel lasted 40 years. He reigned in Hebron for seven years and in Jerusalem for 33. Solomon was seated upon the throne of David and his sovereignty was securely established. The word of the Lord. You, Lord, are the ruler of all. May you be blessed, O Lord, the God of Israel, our Father, forever, for ages unending. You, Lord, are the ruler of all. Yours, Lord, are greatness and power and splendor, triumph and glory. All is yours in heaven and on earth. You, Lord, are the ruler of all. Yours, Lord, is the kingdom. You are supreme above all. Both honour and riches come from you. You, Lord, are the ruler of all. You are the ruler of all. From your hand come strength and power. From your hand come greatness and might. You, Lord, are the ruler of all. Alleluia, Alleluia. I call you friends, says the Lord, because I have made known to you everything I have learned from my Father. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Jesus made a tour around the villages, teaching. Then he summoned the twelve and began to send them out in pairs, giving them authority over the unclean spirits. And he instructed them to take nothing for the journey except a staff, no bread, no haversack, no coppers for their purses. They were to wear sandals, but he added, do not take a spare tunic. And he said to them, if you enter a house anywhere, stay there until you leave the district. And if any place does not welcome you and people refuse to listen to you, as you walk away, shake off the dust from under your feet as a sign to them. So they set off to preach repentance, and they cast out many devils and anointed many sick people with oil and cured them. The Gospel of the Lord We hear in today's Gospel Jesus teaching and instructing his disciples on how to bring the good news into the world. And in the first reading, we hear David giving Samuel advice on how to be a leader in the ways of God. Both of them tells us that as disciples of the Lord, leaders in our own way, we are called to be people who nurture the future for others, 
not to be seeking our own present and future glory. We often fall short in such a call because we want, or we think, that we can take everything with us when our time is up. Things such as our wealth, power, and popularity, for example. What we don't realize is that not only we can't take these with us, but also such a thinking only makes us obsessed and even possessed with whatever we have or want. As a result, we destroy the self, we destroy others, and we destroy even the future. For example, our greed for resources has destroyed creation. Our greed for power has destroyed nations and life. As Christians, disciples of the Lord, Jesus tells us in today's Gospel that such is not to be the case. We are called to walk faithfully with God by listening to Him. For that was what David told his son when he says, Observe the injunctions of the Lord your God, following His ways and keeping His commandments. We are called to constantly self-empty when Jesus tells His disciples, Take nothing for the journey. And we are called to always keep focused on the mission by shaking off the dust from under our feet whenever the good news is not accepted. Why are these three, listening, self-emptying, and keeping focused, important? Because when we listen to Him, we are reminded of who we are. Irrespective of what we have or don't have, our dignity and value does not lie in things or in our works but in the knowledge that we are God's beloved. When we constantly self-empty, we are challenged to rely on Him rather than on ourselves. And when we keep focused on the mission, the mission that has been entrusted to us since baptism, it helps us to not be distracted so easily. For it helps us to see the bigger picture, despite the comparatively minor hiccups and obstacles of life. Records about St. Ansgar, also known as the Apostle of the North, whose memorial is celebrated today, tells us that there were times in his work of evangelizing Denmark and Sweden, he encountered huge difficulties. Yet, we are told he overcame them. And this must have been possible because he listened, he self-emptied, and he kept focus on God in his mission of evangelization. What about us? Have we given up on our duty as evangelizers because of fear, because of setbacks? May we today and always strive to be good Christian leaders and evangelizers in the world by always listening, self-emptying and keeping focused so that with and like Christ, we may not be distracted easily as we make the future a better place by witnessing the gospel to everyone we meet and everywhere we go. And so, in response to God's word, let us together pray the prayer Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May God bless us, keep us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.